Oh, here they are. Sweet. Well, I'm out here in the rain in uh, Huron, South Dakota. So these guys here, Wilbur Ellis, they uh, ordered some stainless from us and I'll admit it, we dropped the ball on their order. They were supposed to have it a week ago. They're pretty frustrated, but I said, I will personally deliver it and make sure you get it because we're on the way to Highmore, South Dakota to do a rebuild and really thankful for their patience. Anyway, we have a pretty cool week planned and we're really thankful that you guys are interested to track with us. Again, Highmore, South Dakota is next. We had to send the truck and trailer with three other guys, Chuck, Drake, and Isaac. And then we're gonna come back to Clinton, Minnesota and do a cart rebuild there. But we'll see about that. Anyway, track with us and we'll see you guys along the journey. Oh yeah. I'd say our stainless is gonna do a good job for this cart. And uh, they're gonna have this strip till rig all ready to go for the fall here. We got, got new hoses on it. Nice rig. Hey, it made it without getting too wet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was my personal apology note <laughs> in case it got shipped, but in here is a flagpole. You guys can fly it on whatever you want, the air, air cart or a combine or something. I don't know if I put it on the air cart, probably will. Yeah. All right, so we're done with that. Now time to get back on the road and get back to where the other guys are, Highmore, South Dakota. Let's go. Salute to the American farmer. That's pretty cool. Found a little mud. Look who decided to show up. Well, you know, had to stop for ice cream. All right, we have a John Deere drill here. Another one. We do a lot of these. We like them. Well, the guys have already gotten started on this job. It is a 68 row machine with a 350 bushel 1910 cart. We are going to do a full stainless rebuild on the cart. We are also going to do a pretty good size rebuild on the drill. Discs, gauge wheels, depth adjusters and handles. We're gonna do some of these arms. You can tell some of them are loose there. You can see that little wiggle there. That's no good. Closing alarm pivots as well. Stabilizers, we wanna take care of this C boot slop here. We have broken most of these boots. And what that will allow us to do, we can drive the bushing and the bolt out all together. And you know what, the weather's perfect. A little breezy, 62 degrees out Fahrenheit, in case you're wondering. All right, I'm gonna suit up and join these guys. Well, it's about 7.30 and uh, we figured the sun's going down real quick and the mosquitoes are already hovering, so we better get out of here before we get carried away. See you in the morning. What a beautiful morning. Hey guys, what's up? It is Tuesday morning and uh, we are back here on the job site and uh, we're getting after it. And uh, we got Drake already working on the front rank here, getting the boots off. Again, we're having to smash these things just to get them off. And look at that. This is why people hire us. Anyway, we got Isaac. He's uh, continuing to work on the stainless steel. Looks like he's putting the lower kits together. And Chuck, he's just looking good. Always. <laughs> no, he's working hard too. So this is a good idea that Isaac's got going. He uh, clamps the tube into the meter housing which holds the shaft in place and you can get the sprocket on the other side. So if you look in here, there's a sprocket way down there and it's really hard to get your, your arm and your hand down there. 
But this is turning out really nice. Isaac, good job. We got the uh, Intelligent Ag Engage Zone Control right here. And now we've really paired it up nicely with the stainless steel here from Ready Ag. Just all matches. I mean, if you're going for looks, this is, you can't, it doesn't get any better than this, right? But uh, it's not just looks, it's function, it's performance, it's reliability. There's no problems, no troubles with this. These meter housings, the stainless steel with these half foot disconnects that actually are rigid and don't seize up. And the doors that open up all the way. Look in here, the dividers are integrated in. There's no plastic in here. So really good deal. He's gonna be really happy with this for a long time. Lunch time. Can't beat that right there. Ribs, chicken. Mm. Hey Drake, ah. it's time to eat. Quit working so hard. <laughs> You almost hit them. The food is good and the dessert's even better. So now it's back to work. Well, we find ourselves in the belly of the drill again. It is nice grass to take a nap in. And it's nice temperature, no bugs. Ain't that right, Drake? If Chuck would just quit making noise over there. What noise? It would be a really peaceful job if it wasn't for that. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing. I'm taking this stock guard, it's called. We have the new cover and handle on this arm. So this cover goes here like so. So here we go. It'd be helpful if I had a third, third arm and hand. Especially when you get an itch. We've had to replace several of these arms, probably a dozen on the front, a dozen on the rear, just because they're slopping out where they contact the shaft. And then Drake had to also change one of these shafts because it was seized in here. That should be a good deal. So the farmer doesn't have to deal with it later. We only had a little bit of gas left in the air compressor and it literally was dying on the last row. So we got pretty fortunate there. This is our portable air compressor and uh, we're out of gas in the spare tank. And you know, we could go get gas, but we figured it'd be nice not to have to waste a half an hour getting that. So good win there. Let's keep on it. Well, we've had a good day today. It's day number two of our three day probably rebuild here in Highmore, South Dakota, but uh, got the cart done. We're getting good progress on the drill and it is a beautiful evening. Check this out guys. You guys have a great night as we will. We're gonna go get some grub, have some steak maybe. We'll see, stay in Fockton, South Dakota and uh, we'll see you in the next, uh, in the next clip here. Alright guys, look at this feast. This is what you get when you uh, get to town and everything's closed. <laughs> a little bit of everything. But not bad. Well boys, it's a new day. So it's about 7.30 in the morning. It's nice and crisp. The silage guys are already out pushing silage on the pile. And we are out here getting back at her. It's going to be a good day I think. But first... Some breakfast. I'd say I need to wash my gloves. Did it look like I at least have done a few? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yummy. This is Isaac's favorite part of the job. Oh yeah. Well, the guys told me I missed one. Man, Chuck, I already like Sure it. enough. I got this music. I like it. There's the seal. <laughs> Whoops. Bad bearing.
not good. So that uh, press pretty much maxed out. And what happened was it blew the inner ring of the bearing right on through and busted the outer ring up. So now great, I get to try to chisel that thing out. That sucks. All right, so Isaac just got done installing the bushings and seals and grease cirques. Shouldn't forget that, we got the long grease cirque because this customer, he's the lucky one. He is getting a heavy duty closing wheel arm spring. So we'll get those on next. Uh, Chuck and I just finished going through the rear rank of the main open arm pins and bushings. And those are all tight, so that's good. Drake is finishing the stabilizer. This is our new version stabilizer, guys. That is incredible. So another thing to note is these seed boots that we're replacing here. It's critical that the edge is flush with the disc and you can see that it is. It's actually doing a great job, um, which is really impressive and we're really excited because these holes were drilled out in the, this main opener arm and the stabilizer, we didn't know exactly how it would perform, but it is doing phenomenal, guys. I'll show you one of the holes. So this is the hole that was drilled out and it was drilled out by hand with no guide block. Someone just took a tapered reamer and pushed hard while it was drilling and drilled wherever it went. And anyway, that's, uh, that's gonna be the problem. So this stabilizer is solving the boot slop despite these holes in the wrong spot, which no other pivot would be able to do that. This thing is gonna pull up on that bolt and it's gonna solve the boot slop problem. It's gonna be a, a permanent fix. All you're gonna have to do is change the boot bolt every time you change the boots. So really good deal there. All right, let's get after it. Well, I'm leaving the guys. We found out we got a bent row unit. He's got a couple rows in reserve here. I'm gonna go try to find him in his shed. He's 10 miles away harvesting corn. All right, let's see if I can find this thing. Southeast corner of the building. Oh man, I hope it's not in those weeds. Oh, here they are. Sweet. Oh my goodness, this thing's heavy. All right, so we had a little snag here, despite it being close to the end of the day and end of the job. We're finding a couple bent arms. The bigger concern is this bent row unit here. If you look straight down the line here, this thing is kicked a little this way. And so the farmer had some row units in the weeds. We're gonna put this row on, we're gonna swap it out, and then he's not gonna have a bent row unit. So that should be good. Well, we're just uh, finished up here. It is about 12.45 p.m. the next day after my last update. We just tried to work through the night uh, and at 10 o'clock or nine o'clock and thought we could get more done, but we had to stop and come back today and finish it up. Anyway, we are so thankful for the farmer and his wife. We have a fabulous feast, thanks to them. And uh, we're gonna get on the road soon, but job went uh, a little longer than we expected, but the finished product, looks amazing so we're pretty excited about that and so is he i'll do a quick uh, flyby before we go and uh you guys can check it out and we'll catch you guys later god bless and uh we'll see you next time New main opener arm, pins and bushings. He already had stainless seal seat tubes. We've got the stabilizer that locks the boot in place and keeps it from moving. New seat boots, new discs. These are the French Forge de Nuit. We got a new closing wheel arm pivot here. Closing wheel arm pivot springs. 
These are the heavy duty square wire ones and vanilla seat tabs. We've gone through all the depth adjusters, fixed the sloppy arms, the covers and the handles are all new. These are the upgraded, the better ones, the thicker, heavier duty ones. So here's an example of one of the arms being replaced. So all in all, job well done. We're out of here. I'm heading to Pier. They're heading to uh, Clinton, Minnesota to do a cart and we'll uh, connect back later. Ciao.